All right, so, ugh, start over again, start over again. What did they see after? You got me, so we need to be looking at you or looking at him. So as everybody in Rockstar Capital knows, fresh and, pr oh, yeah. start over again. We're not gonna look like some second rate management company that doesn't know what the hell we're doing. We're gonna get it close. Hey, welcome to another episode of The Apartment Rockstar. The last episode you saw at the HBJ Awards picking up our second Fast 100 Award. It's a big deal for us and we're really excited about it, but you know what? It's time to get back into business. Today, we're in South Texas. We're at Ingleside at the Cove Apartments first, checking our 120-day performance review, renovation review, and then we're gonna go out to our property in Kingsville, the Oak Tree Apartments, and see where they're at. It's gonna be a great episode. I can't wait to show you. Hey, so we're starting first at the Cove Apartments in Ingleside, Texas, a little suburb outside of Corpus Christi. And we're at the Cove. The property was built in 2017, but it was built by not really owner operators, meaning it doesn't really have a brand, it doesn't have any life. One of the first things that we decided to do to help increase traffic, but also help keep those valuable renewals is to create a community feel. One of the ways we do that for lease traffic is to add our VLC station. This is our virtual leasing center. Here residents can see uh, our company culture, they can check out the Rockstar YouTube page by bringing out the QR code. Takes us to the Rockstar page, but they can also immerse themselves and watch our 3D floor plans and get a feel for what it's like here. That's just one of the amenities. Let's walk around and see what else we've added in the club room. First impressions are everything. What's the very first thing that any prospect, any resident sees when they come into your apartment complex? They see the club room. It should be inviting, it should be warm, it should be welcoming. So many of my peers, many people in the industry believe, oh, I don't want residents in the club room. They're distracted, they get in the way, they're gonna be asking too many questions. I mean, are you kidding? That's what you want, you want engagement. You want to give them a reason to be in that club room and stay there and feel like they belong. We added amenities, we have all this huge space and it wasn't being utilized. We added a shuffleboard, we added a pool table, we added a gaming center, we added a papa shot. Let's see if I can make this. Oh, let's see. Oh, I didn't make it, but it's okay. You know what? I'm in the club room, I can practice. I'm here. I'm engaged. The staff's there, they see me. They're gonna come talk to me. It's all about the renewal. All the money you make in real estate happens on the day that they renew, not when they move in. So why are you not gonna let that valuable lead that turns into a resident stay here forever with you? They're going to. The property's building 17. It's got everything you, you need. You'll see it later on. It's beautiful. Give them a reason to stay. Give them an amenity. Make them feel like it's a home. So one of the things I'm most excited about with this renovation is the ability to add this particular amenity. This is the first like its kind for Rockstar Capital. It's a Starbucks machine. If you want to get a cup of Starbucks in Ingleside for a 15 mile radius, you're gonna have to come here. You're gonna have to come to our property. You're gonna have to let our staff close you. You're gonna have to let our staff show you how this thing works. We're super excited. You know, why do this if you're not having a little fun? Let's see how we brand a Rockstar Capital. Starbucks Pike's Place, enjoy now. Always be closing, but you know what? Coffee's for closers, and if you're a Rockstar Capital, you know that. It's all about closing them and then keeping them in the door. All right, so the next phase of first impressions is the curb appeal. What we use at Rockstar is called the Golden Brick Road. It is that place from when that tour starts, when that prospect gets out of his car, it needs to look great. They walk into the club room, the club room wows them, the Starbucks machine, you know, for 15 mile radius, impresses them. Then they come outside. That whole little path that you take from the time you leave the leasing office, through the amenities, to the model, and back to the club room is called the Golden Brick Road. It is a 100% no variable controlled environment. First stop on the Golden Brick Road is the outside of the club room. Residents have an opportunity now to watch TV, watch the ball game, because I want them living here. I want them acting like this is the community feel for them. They don't need to go to a sports bar. They don't need to go anywhere. They have somewhere right here to enjoy the game on a Saturday or Sunday, or just hang out with their friends. 
The next feature of the Golden Brick Road is the pool area. The pool has to sparkle. This pool specifically is seen from the fitness center. In the fitness center, you want to be wild. You want to work out and come out here and hang out. Look, it's uh, 95 degrees out here. It, it, we're down in South Texas. It's hot. I'm starting to sweat. You're going to want to jump in that pool, but the pool needs to look inviting. It needs to be blue. Pool maintenance is very, very important, but then you want to keep them here. You want to create that community feel. So we added pool loungers so that when they're done working out in the fitness center, they can come over here and they can just lounge. And I'll tell you what, if it doesn't work out in the apartment world for me, I'm going to get in the pool lounger world. Those things are expensive and there's no budget around them. Man, God bless those guys. So what we did as well is that we came out and we added a barbecue area. Can you believe that you come out to this beautiful pool and there's nowhere to cook your fajitas, there's nowhere to cook your hamburgers or your hot dogs on a, on a Sunday afternoon? We added all this. I'm super proud. My guys did an amazing job putting this together. We got TVs on both sides. We have three grills. We want you to be here. They're built to keep you here so you don't have to go to your apartment. I want you to feel like living out here is like living in your apartment because that's where the renewal comes in. The next part of the Golden Brick Road is we're gonna check out the fire pit. The fire pit is another wonderful amenity that I'm told gets used nightly. I mean, who doesn't wanna roast marshmallows at night? Who doesn't wanna be outside hanging out with their kids? We've got all bases covered, the single life, the family life, we're ready to go. You know what? Let's go check out the model now. So the final stop and the show closer on every leasing tour we have on the Golden Brick Road is the unit. But remember, it's not when you get into the unit, it's when you, everything you see before. One of the things we're most proud of, and it's our first ever for Rockstar Capital, is our smart home features. This is the first apartment in the entire area that has smart home features. What are smart home features? Smart automation, Nest thermostats, the ability to pay your rent online, to discuss it with me today is Tracy Tyra. Tracy, tell us a little bit about what you're about to show us. Hey, yes, okay, so we are going to um, unlock the door to go in, which is nice, because you could do it from your car if you've got kids or your groceries. Um, so you're gonna click there, and then click unlock. Let's see. Give it just a second. Oh, I heard it. Door unlocked. There we go. Open sesame. So let's see what else we have in the apartment that showcases how a rock star community is different than any other community in the area. Tracy, tell us more about your smart home technology in this unit. Okay, so we also have this smart thermostat, which is really great because if, the, if, you're, if our residents are at work and they forgot to turn their AC down and they want to save on their electric bill, we can simply do it from the app. You want to go to thermostat and turn it down or up. And you can set your highs and lows as well. So another great feature to our smart thermostat um, is it's going to send updates to our maintenance and management team if it notices that the AC is working too hard. And then also it checks humidity levels too, especially here in Houston, in Texas, in Corpus. Um, it's going to be able to tell if, it's, if the humidity level is too high, um, which again tells us that something needs to be done with the AC. Um, and then we also um, are paying for the apartment to be monitored. So we do have an alarm for our residents too, and I can show you that on our hub over here. So this is your smart hub, but you can put your own pictures on here too. And you can also do everything that I just showed you right here from this hub. And this is your alarm. So this has a camera on it as well. You can tap in and see what's going on and it'll take pictures for you. And you can go to your thermostat. All right, Tracy, what other features are there that we can show? So again, if you're in bed and you don't feel like turning your lights off, um, we've got smart plugs and smart light switches. Um, so right here is the living room lamp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on. Wow. Turn on. And then also, we've got the bedroom lamp hooked up to a plug-in in the bedroom. So as you saw, smart features are a way to distinguish us from the competition. Everybody has nice cabinets in the Class A market. Everybody has microwaves or black appliances. But what don't they have? They don't have the innovation. They don't have the vision to anticipate where the residence needs are going to be tomorrow. Everybody wants everything controlled on their phone. Everybody wants everything controlled by voice, whether they pay their rent. Everybody just wants convenience. At Rocks for Capital, it's what we're trying to do. We're trying to understand where the market's going, but get there today, get there first, so we can stand above the noise. All right, so we took over a tough property. Don't let the 2017 construction build and the exterior look confuse you or fool you. There are some issues that are related to this area, but it's okay, because we pay the appropriate price for this property. The renovation is there. That is a strategy that we designed to bring in the traffic, but most importantly, hold the traffic back. Now we're gonna discuss a little bit of our performance numbers. Melissa Alvarado is our Chief Operation Officer. Melissa, I know we started at 78%, but what did we inherit when we took over the property? 
So we inherited 50 notice to vacates that were pending to move out. We inherited over 100 lease expirations in the course of three months. And we inherited move-ins that were moved into the system, but the unit was already vacant, so the move out hadn't happened. So with finding everything, obviously our occupancy has come down, um, but it was things that were expected to happen. And so now we're on the, on the plan to overcome them. Well, yeah, so I mean, you had 100 people ready to move out. That's almost 40%, like 38% of the entire occupancy, but it's okay. We started at 78%, we're now hovering around 63 to 65, 65%. So we didn't lose everybody. We continue to lease, we continue to renew, and average renewal is $20. People, and the renovation is just now finished. We're ready to go. We're also getting very creative because one of the best things that I've learned in life is that the little setbacks, the little things, the little pressure points is what makes you better. We have tremendous lessons of our very first class A property, Midtown Grove, purchased back in 2014, right? That before that, we didn't understand reputation management. We didn't understand social media. We didn't understand how to survive. We literally went into a gunfight with a knife. But because of those lessons there, we know what we're supposed to do here. We've got to get creative with leasing. Melissa, do you know, tell us a little more, like what are some of the steps that we've taken to get creative? Uh, the Airbnb so partnership? The Airbnb partnership, yes. So we have signed with Airbnb and getting our units up so that we can offer short-term leases to some of the plant workers that, that that are coming in because short-term is very popular here. We've also uh, created a few partnerships with some corporate housing um, that will help us bring in the corporations and the plant workers. So short-term rentals is what got the previous management in trouble. And it got them in trouble because they had no management, they had no organization, they didn't stagger their short-term. They, they're the reason why we have 100 move-outs that were coming in within a 90-day, 120-day period. We inherited that and that's okay. We knew the problem, we created a plan, and certainly we paid the right price. We didn't pay. This property is in Houston, we're paying $30,000 or more easy all day long. It's a beautiful property. We pay in the low 100s for this property. It's amazing, it's a signature property, but it's a property also that shows us what we can do because a little bit of pain is good for you. When we bought Midtown Grove back in 2014, we had a lot of issues. We didn't understand reputation management. We didn't really understand social media or the power of websites. We know that today. The lessons that we're gonna to learn today are gonna to help the rest of the community, the Airbnb, the partnerships with the corporate housing, the right renovation outside to create that community feel is the right recipe for success that in 12 months, we're gonna be painting a very different picture. All right, so our adventure down in South Texas continues. We are now down in Kingsville at Oak Tree Apartments. Sam Moore, Sam, do you see what Mama's cooking? Because Mama's only like 45 minutes away. I mean, I love it. Mama and Eva's about to come, man. I can't wait, but I get excited when I get close to Mama. But today, we're here at the Cove. We're coming to check out the progress. Are you excited? Very excited, very excited. It's, gonna be, it's very amenity driven. This property is doing really well. Occupancy, I think we should build a property here because it's doing so well. But. The residents need outdoor space. They need to create that community feel. We spent quite a bit on the amenities. I think you're gonna love it. Come on and check us out. All right, so as everybody at Rockstar Capital knows, first impressions are everything, curb appeal is everything, and it all starts with the Golden Brick Road. The Golden Brick Road is that area from when the resident parks their car and they walk on in. The first thing they see, they're gonna see a club room. We want it to be inviting, we want it to be warm, we want it to look like, hey, there's something going on here. Very first thing they should see is a virtual leasing center. As with all of our properties, all other 20 properties, we have this. This is our way to brand ourselves, our way to show them our company culture, our way to show them who we are. They can keep up with resident events, they can take their phone, scan the QR code. There's a, a video of us from a few Christmases ago helping out a Hurricane Harvey survivor family that had been di uh, displaced and we were there to help them. That's who we are at Rockstar. We want, we're more than just property management. We want to give back to the community. Sam, you've been watching this for a long time. Tell me a little sure. bit about it, man. I mean, what do you think? So one of the things that we really wanted to create is an environment of family when they got here and an environment of community. So all of our, all of the things that we've done here from the investment into the property are helped to induce that. And so that people would realize that, hey, this is a community that we can live in. Uh, we, have a, we have very low turnover here and the people that stay here are wanting to stay here longer. Um, and we've created an environment for that. Absolutely. So, and again, first opportunity is the club room. Club, right? It means like a gathering. It means like a group of people. We want people to be in here. Let's go check on the next section of the club room. As with the other properties, you'll see we added a uh, um, shuffleboard. We added a pool table. We have our signature coffee area here. We want it to be invited. We want them to know that they can come out and 
spend a little time here. They're not in the way. They're not a distraction. We want them to be here. They want, we want to know that they can feel welcome in here at any time. The fitness center is right here. We spent a couple dollars in the fitness center to get it kind of up and going. But you know what? The property is only a few years old, right, Sammy? It didn't That's really right. need a lot of upgrades. It really didn't need too much. Uh, the property is five years old right now, and so it was just minor things that we were working on. It was the things that uh, that really we got resident uh, information from, the things that they desired, that they wanted to have in the community that they lived in. And we were able to provide the bulk of that because the cost was small. Um, and what that does, it'll help with turnover. Um, it helps us get the rental increases that we're looking to get. Um, and it helps us create the community feel that we're trying to do. Absolutely. So as Sam said, you know, we're doing really well here. It just, we wanted to make sure that we heard the residents, give them an ear so we could hear them and we surveyed them. What do you want to see? We're about to show you outside on the amenities. All right, so now we've come outside and as I mentioned before, amenities are everything. It's how you create the community feel. Melissa Alvarado, our, our Chief Operations Officer is gonna join us. Melissa, what were some of the things that we did here? What was our plan of attack? So our plan was to create that community feel to make everyone feel comfortable. So here in this area, you'll see we created a top golf feel where we added big games that so we have our checkers, we have our dominoes, we have our Jenga, and we have tables with our TVs to where people can come out and spend time with their families, get to know each other, get to know the community. Absolutely, so again, we want renewals, and the name of the game is the renewals. We need to make sure everybody is signing again in 12 months, so that allows us to get a rent bump, allows us to not spend any money, but more importantly, high resident satisfaction scores we got all this advice from the residents. We surveyed them, they told us what they wanted, and Melissa came up with the idea of creating this amazing top golf kind of themed area with this oversized Jenga, oversized uh, dominoes and checkers. Amazing. Hey, we're gonna go check out what else we've done for the residents. All right, so we've moved over outside, and this project has been the most amenity-driven project we've ever had. You know what, and I can't do it all. We've got to bring in a team. We've got to recruit people. I'm really excited that my brother Nick has decided to join the company in his first role as project manager of the renovation. Nick, tell us a little bit about what your idea was and your theme here. Basically what I decided to do here was, was just try to bring that Las Vegas feel to Kingsville, Texas. And uh, with the cabanas, the pool, the lounges here, I mean, look at it, it's just it's great. Remember, the amenities should drive leasing and it should also retain your residents here. This pool is amazing looking and you can see it from the leasing office, you can see it from the fitness center, you can see it from the manager's office when somebody's coming in to sign. It looks amazing. That water looks Las Vegas themed. And you see the little, uh, the little loungers? I mean, everything looks great. Those things are expensive too. I can't believe how expensive they are. I, we got to find another way for that, Nick. But uh, it just looks amazing and if you come on around, We'll show you, this is something new for Rockstar. This is just our outdoor lounge. We've never had one of these before. I went on a trip to Philadelphia once and it was like a beer garden out there. And I, I sent the picture to the team. I think we're missing some lights, but it's almost done. I mean, this is amazing. Just a little cute little spot. It's got a little canopy. I've never seen this at, at another, another apartment complex and certainly not at one of ours. You'll pan around, you'll see the cabanas there that have that give you, again, that pool, uh, lifestyle, uh, Las Vegas style pool area. It's gonna be amazing. And where the rest of the team is come over here. Hey guys lounging around, taking notes. They're chilling over here. This is another little outdoor area here where people can grill out at the nearby barbecues, but just hang out here in the shade while everybody's playing the pool. We really try to think of everything here so that residents want to live here where we stand out even further. If this isn't a Corpus Christi or Kingsville property of the year candidate, I don't know what it is. This is an amazing renovation job. Congratulations, everybody. I'm here at what I think is my most favorite amenity at this property. This property is in Kingsville. Kingsville is known for what, Sam? They have the naval base here. They have college students here. Uh, they have uh, Texas A&M Kingsville. Kingsville. They got the big naval base here. And they also have uh, real close to us is Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. They have a big Homeland Security outfit. Right. And as anybody who's ever seen Top Gun knows, what do Navy guys like to do? They love to play beach. They volleyball. love to play some beach volleyball. We all saw that you're a fan of 1986 Top Gun. Heck yeah. That's right. So, you know what? It's also a dual purpose. Rockstar Capital finished third in the last Houston Apartment Association volleyball tournament. We want to be able to compete next year, do a little bit better. Now we have a field to practice on. We're ready for HAA. We're going to play to win next year. But until then, I want to just finish this out. You know, the volleyball is an amazing amenity, but it's all about curb appeal. And the way that they finished out the exterior of the buildings is amazing. I hated the paint that was here before. It made it look old, it made it look tired. Now it looks amazing. It looks very fresh. It's no surprise that the curb appeal is there. 
the interest is there. What are we at, like 97%? 98. 98%, and we're gonna stay there because we have the amenities now, we're investing in that infrastructure to keep our residents and keep those renewals because as they renew, we get to raise rents, and that's how we drive NOI. Let's now move on to performance. All right, so we're gonna end this episode and now talk about performance at Oak Tree. With me is Melissa Alvarado, our Chief Operations Officer. Melissa, tell me, how are we doing with the property? So this property is doing really awesome. It, it's been a very easy transition. So, so far we've had 42 move-ins with 42 move-outs, so our occupancy has remained the same. We're at 98% occupied. Um, we've uh, been able to achieve an average rent increase of about $45 between renewals and move-ins. So very smooth transition. So this property is going against the curve. And what that means is typically when you take over a property and you do your renovations, you start to see that fall down. You start to see typically a five to 10, even a 15% drop. And that's a lot of units. At this particular property, that has not happened. The resident base has really accepted the renovations. They were hungry for these kind of improvements on the outside. I mean, this is clearly from an amenity standpoint, the best renovation we've done outside. I can't wait to see where we are a year from now, Melissa. Hey, maybe we ought to develop next door. What do you think? You know, this has been an exciting day to come down to Rockstar South, down in South Texas. It's really exciting because it's our first real entry into another market. Sure, we're in, down in Brazoria. We got another property closing in a couple weeks, right? But we're far away from home. And this tests our model. This gives us an opportunity to come into a new market and set our brand because everything you see around here is the Rockstar brand. It's what we're trying to showcase. It's what we're trying to come into Corbett. We're trying to come into Kingsville and say, hey, Rockstar is in town. Look at how we do things a little bit differently. Rockstar living, the Rockstar experience, that's true to us. It means a lot to us. We wanna make sure that our brand stands above the rest. We stand out above the noise. The amenities that you've seen, the smart home, just changing the attitude of the guy before us and showing that we're different. It's what we're trying to do here at Rockstar Capital. It's been an amazing day and thank you for sharing this journey with us on the way to 10,000. And to feed that urge, if you want some more content from us, you can find it all at theapartmentrockstar.com. Until next time, we'll check you out on the next Daily Rock.